Welcome to ziplime.com. This video tutuloy natin ating series on uh, decimals. No? Ang gagawin natin dito is to start our discussion on division. Natapos na natin yung, ano, no, yung uh, discussion natin on uh, addition, subtraction, and multiplication. So in this particular video, mag-focus lang muna tayo dun sa uh, division kung saan yung ating uh, divisor ay whole numbers. No? So makikita nyo later lahat ng mga example natin. Lahat ng mga examples natin ay uh, ang kanyang divisor ay whole numbers. No? So we'll start our uh, examples. 5.7 divided by 3. No? So ang pinaka method lang is sulat lang natin para tayo mag-divide. This is 5.7 divided by 3. And then we just put the decimal point here. Katapat siya nung decimal point ng divisor natin. Ito na yung magiging quotient natin. So we have 5 divided by 3. This is 1. So 1 times 3. Okay. So minus natin, we have uh, 2. Uh, 27. 27 divided by 3 is 9. And then 9 times 3 is 27. Well, 2.7 yan technically, no? but uh, of course, in-ignore na muna natin kasi nalagay na tayo ng decimal point. So we have 0. So the answer is 1.9. Number 2, we have uh, 38.4 divided by 12. So 38.4 divided by 12. 38 divided by 12 is 3. This is 36. By the way, maglagay muna tayo ng decimal point. No? Then 38 divided by 12 is 3, 36. And then we subtract, we have 24. So 24 divided by 12 is um, 2. So this is 24. And this becomes 0. No? So this is 3.2. Number three, we have 3.5 divided by 5. So 3.5 divided by 5. Again, we uh, place a decimal point on the quotient. And then we start with 3 divided by 5. Pwede ba? Hindi pwede, di ba? So pag hindi pwede, maglagay tayo ng 0. And then... Uh, 35, yung 35 na buo, divided by 5 is 7. And 7 times uh, 5, 0 0.7 times 5 is 35. Probably 3.5 siya, no? But sometimes, uh, ini-ignore na natin, no? But here, pukhang obvious na 3.5, kasi 3.5 minus 35 cannot be, no? And that will give us a negative number. So this is 0. The answer here is 0 0.7. Number four, we have uh, 1.62 divided by 3. Divided by 3. So 1.62 divided by 3. So 1 divided by 3 cannot be. So we put 0. 16 divided by 3 is 5. 5 times 3 is 15. So we subtract, we have uh, 12. 12 divided by 3 is 4. 4 times 3 is 12. This becomes 0. Palagi may minus yun dyan. No? Kakalimutan natin, but I think naiintindihan naman natin yan. No? So this is 0 0.54. Okay. Last example, we have Siguro dito na lang tayo, no? We have 4.8 divided by 6. 4.8 divided by 6. This is 4.8 divided by 6. So, lakay tayo yung decimal point, naka-align dapat. We have uh, 4 divided by 6, kind of this is 0. 
makamapagkamalang 6, 0. Then 48 divided by 6 is 8. It's 4.8. Magiging 0 siya. Okay? So that, this is 0 0.8. Okay, that's it. Yung, uh, remember, yung pinag-aralan natin yung ating mga divisors. Lahat ng divisors natin ay puro whole numbers. No? Magkita nyo yung whole numbers lahat yan. Uh, divisors are whole numbers. No? Whole numbers. So, later, yung mga susunod na videos natin, paano naman kung decimal naman yung ating uh, divisors. No? Paano kung baliktad? Paano kung parehong decimal yung dividend na divisor? So, pag-aralan natin yan sa mga susunod na videos. Maraming salamat. Uh, gusto ko yung invite to zipkayan.com. Uh, nandiyan yung ating mga videos. Sunod-sunod yan. No? Pwede yung panoorin. Nandito nakalista. And of course, kung nasa YouTube kayo, pwede kayong mag-subscribe sa ating YouTube channel. Maraming salamat. See you in the next tutorial.